It said that if two bullets are released from the same height, one fired from a gun and the other simply drop, they'll hit the ground at the same time. That's because the fired bullet doesn't have any lift. Gravity affects both bullets equally. So, in theory, they should land simultaneously. To put this myth to the test, Adam began with a theoretical experiment. Instead of real bullets, he used a steel ball as a stand-in. He first dropped the steel ball from a set height. Then he launched another one horizontally, using a spring on a table. A high-speed camera was set up to capture the exact moment each ball hit the ground. The dropped steel ball took 401 milliseconds to land. The spring launched one hit the ground in 403 milliseconds. That's an incredibly small difference. So, the myth seemed plausible. Next, it was time for a real bullet test. The first step was to figure out how far a bullet would travel before hitting the ground when fired horizontally. They mounted a gun on a 1.2 meter high stand. Then they fired at wooden boards placed 100, 200, and 300 feet away from the muzzle. Based on the test results, the bullet landed somewhere between 350 and 370 feet. To precisely track where it hit, they laid white paper on the ground in that range. Eventually, they determined the bullet landed at exactly 360 feet. Now it was time for the final indoor experiment. The setup was in a 480-foot-long facility, with no wind to interfere with the bullet's trajectory. Jamie built a special rig that used an electromagnet to hold a second bullet. At the exact moment the handgun was fired, the electromagnet shut off, dropping the other bullet. The rig was positioned at the 360-foot mark. If the myth held true, both bullets should hit the ground at the same time, at the same spot. The test began, and the result was just about perfect. The fired bullet left a skid mark as it hit the ground. High-speed footage showed that the two bullets landed only 0.0096 seconds apart. That tiny gap is simply the result of gravity doing its thing. It's a beautiful demonstration of physics in action. So, the myth is confirmed.